Let's be honest, out of all animals, the crocodile is near the top of the list of those we don't want to get into a fight with. From their size to their teeth, most humans know that they aren't going to be able to beat them. But there are animals out there that could. From a fierce tiger to a ravenous rhino, here are 15 animals that could defeat a crocodile. Number 15. Tigers can defeat crocodiles. If you were to put a tiger in a boxing ring with a crocodile, we're not exactly sure who would win. You could put your money on either animal, and there's probably quite an even chance that either the croc or tiger would come out on top. Bear in mind, both of these animals are ambush predators, so whoever likely gets the upper hand first has a better chance of defeating the other animal. Crocodiles will grab onto their prey with one bite, then rip it apart. They can't chew their food, so they have to act fast to subdue their prey. In saying that, a tiger can leap out of nowhere, jump onto their prey's back, then carry out one swift bite to the back of the head. It's game over for their victim. Crocodiles, of course, have armor to protect them, but tigers have an incredible bite force. Not to mention speed and agility. As long as they caught the croc unaware, they could definitely make a meal out of one. It's a tough one. Do you think a tiger could defeat a croc, or would the croc be crowned the champion over the tiger? Before we go on, like this video, smash the subscribe button, and click the notification bell right now, or this centipede will crawl on your face when you're sleeping. Number 14. Shark. Okay, so we're technically talking about sharks versus alligators, but you get the idea. A shark versus alligator battle may seem very unlikely, but it is actually possible. In fact, there have been many occasions throughout history where such a fight has taken place. Surprisingly, both animals can be crowned the winner. Sure, the most obvious winner is going to be the alligator. They are opportunistic. If they see a shark going about its daily business, they'll go in for a taste test. As we humans know, you don't pass up a free dinner. There have been many occasions where sharks have ended up as the main course. Scientific and historical literature showed examples of alligators dining on bonnet head sharks, nurse sharks, and lemon sharks. But sharks bite back. A late 19th century article described hundreds of sharks and alligators fighting like hungry dogs in a body of water. We can't verify how accurate the report is, but it's easy to assume that the populations of both were far larger back then. There have also been examples of great white sharks feasting on American crocodiles in Colombian waters, and tiger sharks devouring the estuarine crocs in Australia. Number 13. Killer Whale You're either going to be on Team Killer Whale or Team Crocodile for this one. A crocodile could defeat a killer whale, but there's a chance the killer whale could take down a croc too. What do you think? No one has been able to identify the bite force of a killer whale accurately. In saying that, it's estimated that the bite force of captive killer whales could be over 19,000 psi. In contrast, a crocodile's is around 3,700. So comparing them on these stats alone, a killer whale could pretty much bite a croc clean in half. But the bite force of a croc is definitely powerful enough to do an orca a bit of damage too. But of course, there's more to the battle than just the bite force. You have to factor in their size and shape as well. A crocodile might not be able to open its jaw wide enough to bite down on a vulnerable part of the orca. While they are trying, the orca can take action and deliver a massive bite to the croc. Then there's the weight. A killer whale is massive. While a crocodile isn't exactly small, it would be quite moronic to actually try and take on such a large creature. Number 12. Elephant Crocodiles are well known for being able to take down animals much larger than them, like a 600-pound wildebeest standing 5 feet tall at the shoulder. But an elephant? Now that's a battle the elephant is more likely to win. 
An African elephant can easily weigh 13,000 pounds and stand at 11 feet tall. When you're a short, stocky crocodile with even shorter, stockier legs, well, the odds aren't in your favor. And while crocodiles might have protective armor, elephants have thick, scaly skin that makes you want to run at them with a bottle of moisturizer. When you get down to a crocodile's level, you can see that they would go straight for the elephant's legs. Given their thickness compared to the legs of a wildebeest, there's just no way they can chow down on such a massive animal without being harmed in the process. All an elephant would have to do would be to stand on the croc's back and it would be game over. What's more, a crocodile is far more adept in the water than on land. There would be very few opportunities for it to even try and launch an attack on an elephant. Number 10. Grizzly Bear the American grizzly bear is not an animal you would want to come across in a dark alley, or even on a hike. They are an apex predator and a killing machine, not to mention weighing a whopping 800 pounds and standing up to 8 feet tall. But then there's the Nile croc in all its glory, weighing up to 1,650 pounds and measuring 16.4 feet long. Is the grizzly bear really capable of making the crocodile its delicious snack? Let's compare a few things here. First, the attack methods. Bears use their curved claws, mouths full of two-inch teeth, and an impressive 1,160 PSI bite force. They can also climb trees, and humans have used them for fighting lions and bulls in the past. But then there's the croc, whose attack methods aren't exactly pathetic. These stealth predators use invisibility in bodies of water to their advantage. They can then move with lightning fast speed and accuracy before snapping down with incredible bite force from their enormous mouths. I guess it's a time and a place thing. If you put the bear in an area it's comfortable and the croc isn't, then it's clear to see that a grizzly bear would come out on top. Number 9. Hippopotamus Hippos look cute, cuddly, and friendly. So much so that you might think they aren't capable of defeating the crocodile because they're just too sweet. But as it turns out, hippos are actually incredibly vicious, and they have plenty of tools at their disposal to take down a croc with no problems at all. Their heft is probably the first thing they have going for them. They can weigh over 1.5 tons, and a simple barrel roll onto a croc could squish it flat. Let's not forget their teeth and jaw, either. Their mouths can open up to 180 degrees and have huge teeth and tusks that could pierce through even the most rigid croc armor. That's not to say that a croc wouldn't stand a chance, though. The two have to share the same bodies of water from time to time. A particularly peckish crocodile may launch an unsuspecting attack on a hippo by catching it unawares. With a few snaps of its jaw on vulnerable areas, it could demobilize a reasonable-sized hippo. But we genuinely believe that if you put them both in a fighting ring, the hippo would have the upper hand on size alone. Number 8. Rhinoceros. To tell you the truth, we wouldn't want to put money on either a rhino or a croc to win in a fight. Both could actually take each other out with full confidence. But for the sake of argument, let's take a look at some of their strong points to see how they compare. What we do know for sure is that we wouldn't want to be up against either of them. An adult black rhino can grow up to around 11.8 feet long and 63 inches at the shoulder. Their size alone is impressive, but then they can weigh about 3 or 4 thousand pounds. They tend to have two horns made of keratin, and the longer one can be around 55 inches long. There have also been examples of some horns growing up to 5 feet long. Some rhinos also grow a third horn for defense, digging, and intimidation. So if put in a fight with a croc, it could try and use any of its horns. But how would the saltwater crocodile compare? They can grow up to about 21 feet long, but some huge crocs measure about 25 feet. Their skull alone is about 30 inches. That's 30 inches full of teeth, bear in mind. So you've got two different animals with two different forms of defense and attack. We're on the fence about this one. Number 7. Anaconda It's a no-brainer. 
One of the largest, longest, scariest snakes in the world is, of course, gonna be in the running to win against a crocodile. These two tough reptiles both have some pretty good aces to play, though. Given that anaconda literally means good swimmer in Greek, it already has the upper hand. It can fight a crocodile on its own turf. They will also spend much of their time in the water or hanging from trees, so they can always be on the lookout for crocodiles trying to sneak up on them. Their general diet is also a dead giveaway of what they are capable of. They can take down a jaguar, a large caiman, and smaller fish, lizards, and rodents. They kill their prey by constricting it, so all it needs to do is wrap itself around an unsuspecting crocodile. It is then game over for the croc, and dinner time for the snake. But does the croc have a fighting chance? Of course. Remember, anacondas like to lounge around in trees. Crocs can easily leap up to a low-hanging branch and grab an anaconda like a noodle. Number 6. Jaguar We often have hypothetical situations on whether one animal could win in a fight against another animal. However, when it comes to the crocodile and the jaguar, there are actually real-life examples of a winner and a loser. Well, a jaguar and a caiman, but still. Before we get into it, who do you think would win? I'd be interested to know why you hold the opinion you do. Now, in 2017, a jaguar and a caiman were caught in a battle with a very poor outcome for one of those animals. As the camera pans, you're shown a rock in the water. Except it's not a rock, it's a large caiman moving through murky water. A jaguar watches it from the safety and cover of the bushes. Within seconds, it dives into the water and onto the back of the caiman. The jaguar grabs the caiman by the top of the neck and, with all its might, manages to drag it back up the bank, back to its hiding spot. So there you have it, folks. A jaguar is a lot stronger than we thought. Number 5. Wolf a wolf up against a crocodile. Well, stranger things have happened. Okay, so a wolf isn't just gonna launch into the water and take down a crocodile. That just wouldn't happen. But would there be a scenario where a wolf could come out on top? While not likely, you just never know. If the crocodile happened to me in shallow water, then the wolf wouldn't have to make a quick trip to Walmart to pick up a life ring and some floaties. A battle on land would also see a wolf far more agile than the crocodile. While crocs are okay on land, they do tend to have more skills at their disposal in the water. But let's say you put a wolf pack up against a single crocodile. In that case, there's a higher chance of the wolf pack coming out on top. After all, it's not a fair fight. We'd like to think that they have enough power in their jaws as a pack to penetrate the croc's armor. But sadly, there would probably be a few casualties. After all, the two jaw types just don't compare. Number 4. Hyena Okay, so this scenario isn't exactly realistic. There will be very few, if any, occasions that call for a hyena to attack a crocodile. Unless, of course, they have a death wish. As a rule, hyenas are scavengers. They clean up what other animals don't finish. So we could imagine a couple of scenarios where a hyena could take down a croc, but the croc isn't fighting fit in both. If another animal got to the crocodile first, then the hyena could come in and clean up whatever wastage is left behind, including bones. The hyena may also be able to defeat a crocodile if it was severely sick or injured on land. With enough hyenas, they could launch a full attack, resulting in the crocodile just giving up and saying, do your worst. But put a hyena up against a healthy, happy, and hungry crocodile? To be honest, that's just an easy meal for the croc. As soon as the hyena would enter the water, the crocodile could quickly respond with a tail flick, a few fast movements, and its jaw clamping down on the hyena's head. Number 3. Gorilla Let's first start by saying that a fight between a crocodile and a gorilla would be unlikely. Gorillas are land mammals, and crocodiles are aquatic predators. They both have their safe zones to where they would retreat when the going got tough. If a crocodile was confronted by a gorilla on land, it would likely hiss as a warning, then retreat to the safety of the water. Gorillas, too, are definitely not in their element in deep water. A 
a crocodile could have no problems taking down a gorilla just by drowning it. It wouldn't even need to use its teeth. Given that Nile crocodiles and saltwater crocodiles can also feast on animals much larger than gorillas, it's pretty likely that they could defeat a gorilla as just another notch in their belt. But what if you were to put them both on land? Well, the crocodile would probably end up leaving, and no fight would take place. The gorilla may not even see the crocodile as a threat, while the croc may see that it's not worth the fight. So shall we call this one a draw? Number 2. T-Rex Bear with us, we're about to get all historical and technical. Let me find my woolen jumper, tobacco pipe, and a crackling fire to sit in front of. Twas 230 million years ago. Reptiles, both large and small, roamed the land. Dinosaurs, those massive, terrifying creatures, well and truly stood out. They were huge, and pretty much every animal smaller than them didn't stand a chance in a fight. But what kind of conflict are we talking about here? Not to shame the dinosaurs or anything, but who's here now? The crocodiles, not the dinosaurs. We'd like to say that a T-Rex could defeat a crocodile, but we're here today with crocodiles in our waters, and not dinosaurs. They may not have fought to the death in a boxing ring, but they acclimated to the changing environment to be here today. Meanwhile, all we've got of the T-Rex is fossils. But could a T-Rex have killed a crocodile? Well, of course, they were 40 feet tall. They probably crafted slippers out of them and stood on them by accident, just leaving their big T-Rex houses. Number 1. Otter Okay, so it's not a crocodile, but this is pretty impressive. No freaking way. It couldn't be true. An otter defeating an alligator? This small, cute, cuddly critter? You better believe it. Surprisingly, otters are nearly an apex predator. They are feisty little animals that learn from a young age how to play with the big boys. They might get a few small bites for their efforts, but they can take down an alligator. We've got proof. An otter was seen on an alligator's back, biting into its neck. Remember, alligators move their heads side to side while fighting, so an otter's goal is always to stay out of the danger zone. Even though alligators and crocodiles have armor on their back, otters just see this as yet another obstacle to overcome. What they do have going for them is their endless energy. There's usually enough to end the dispute. A gator will have a quick burst of energy, but an otter is more like an energizer bunny. It just keeps going and going. Eventually, the alligator is worn out from the fight. Its muscles fill up with lactic acid and it can barely move. It almost looks like it drank too much gator juice. The gator then dies from lactic acid buildup. That was not the outcome we were expecting, that's for sure. To be honest, we were quite surprised by some of the animals that could defeat a croc in the right circumstances. I mean, come on, an otter? I know, I'm as shocked as you. If you had to defend yourself against a crocodile, what would you do? Also, check out our other cool stuff showing up on screen right now. See you next time.